Hello everyone, and today we are going to be customizing this beautiful model here to look like my cousin's horse, Cruz. So here's the craft supplies that I will be using. I'll be using acrylic paint. I'm using the brand Apple Barrel. I'll be using classic caramel, white, calm pink, and melted chocolate. Jet black, concrete gray, blue cotton candy, clear fingernail polish, matte varnish, a toothpick. I will also be using paint brushes, sizes three and six, and a bowl of water. I'll also be using a piece of cardboard to put my paint on, a pencil, and a paper towel to wipe off my paint brushes. Last but not least, the model that I will be painting. This model has already been primed, so let's get started. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to use the pencil to draw on Cruz's markings. Cruz is a Palomino paint and he is very beautiful. So I will have to be looking at a ton of reference photos, so I will have to stop this to go ahead and do that. So I'm simply just going to use the pencil and draw on the markings. I will show you some pictures at the end of this video on what Cruz actually looked like in real life. So I'll be right back once this is all done. Okay, so I am finally done drawing all the markings on this beautiful boy here. So I'm going to turn him around so you guys can kind of see him a little bit. There's all of his chest. And I did my very best on him. He is very, very pretty as I put it. He has extremely beautiful palomino markings. He is very pretty. So the top half of him would be palomino and the bottom half of him was white. So I can't wait to get started on painting this pretty boy. So let me get started painting. And this is coat one. I think he is looking absolutely beautiful. He definitely needs another coat. I will definitely be filming that, but probably not as much as the first one. So I hope you're liking how Cruise Man is turning out here. So he is looking really good. So if you are liking him, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell and tell your friends. Let's do coat number two. Okay, now I have the second and third coat of his beautiful Palomino color done. I also ended up doing his muzzle. He is looking absolutely beautiful. Next thing I am going to do is I am going to paint his mane and tail. I'm going to be using his base color, which is classic caramel, and I'm mixing it with a little bit of white to dial it down. So let's begin.
Okay, his mane and his tail are all painted now. His base coat is also done. Now, the only thing left for me to do would be paint his eyes and paint his hooves. His eyes are blue, which I have never done blue eyes on a model horse before. So this will be really exciting and of course I will be filming it, as well as painting his hooves. So let's get to it. Now Cruz is all done being painted. Oh my word, I have never done blue eyes on a model horse and these turned out so cool. Look at them. These are my first time ever doing blue eyes and they turned out awesome. They are super, super cool. So now there's only two more things left to do to him. I'm going to seal him with some matte varnish so he won't get as many scratches and put in some fingernail polish in his eyes and in his nostrils just to give him a little bit more light. So let's get to it. is 100% done. He is also 100% absolutely gorgeous. He is so beautiful and he turned out way better than I ever thought possible. He is so beautiful and once again he is a real horse so I do have some pictures of what he looked like in real life so I will be showing you to them showing you them. So here are some pictures of what Cruz looked like. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and tell your friends. And see you all next week.